It's Q&A tea time, my love, so get ready, get your cup of tea, get cozy, because I'm gonna be answering your questions for the next 20 minutes. Welcome back to another episode. And if you're new here, my name is Mel. I make videos every Wednesday and Sunday teaching you to vibrate on the frequency of love with angel guidance. Today it is Q&A tea time. This episode is ridiculously overdue and I received so many emails. So I'm just going to let my intuition guide me to what I need to answer. So let's get cracking. All right. So my first email came from the beautiful Celine and she asks, okay, how can I start gathering crystals? I don't really own crystals right now and it'd be really lovely to have some, some more positive energy around me. Where do I start? Shall I buy them or look for them? Ooh, okay, that's amazing. All right, um, as you guys know, I am a massive fan of crystals. I wear a rose quartz, I've got an amethyst, more rose quartz, and I have a whole heap of them on my bracelet. Peter and I also sleep with rose quartz crystals underneath our pillows um, and I have a whole heap um, over my little altar. Um, I wear them around my neck depending on whatever. The best way, <laughs> the best way to get started with crystals is to go into a crystal store. Um, you'll usually find them at like your hippie-ish kind of stores where you buy oracle cards and you can get white sage. And when you walk in, I want you to have a look at the crystal stand walk around it but I don't want you to look at what the names mean I want you to use your intuition and select three crystals or however many you feel drawn to once you have select them I want you to keep them in your hand and then I want you to go back and to see what each of those crystals means because usually there will be like a sign next to it that will tell you what it means and the crystals in which you picked up are the ones in which your angels are guiding you that you need during this time. So every time you go in, there could be um, more crystals you need to take, but just be mindful of that because it can add up quite quickly. Um, it's interesting, I actually did this exercise for my mom when I was um, getting crystals for her for Christmas. Well, I wasn't buying them, I was just seeing like where was she at. Um, it was interesting because I picked up two crystals which were around the same meaning to do with sleep. Um, saying that she was having trouble sleeping and then when I called her up I was like mom like what's the deal with your sleep and she's like oh, I'm not sleeping properly right now I was like oh I already know she's like how'd you know that I was like oh my angels oh, crystals you know so um, your angels will always guide you to where you need to go it's just intuitively you will literally know which ones to pick up um, a really good to have two starter crystals um, the first one would be a clear quartz crystal why it's like the it's like the one crystal that encompasses healing for everything. It's just beautiful. And the other one is um, the rose quartz crystal because the rose quartz crystal signifies love. Um, and as you know, I'm a massive believer that love truly heals all blockages. So they were like the first two crystals that I got into. And then, um, like I have a crystal that sits on my on my laptop which is actually over there. And it helps with dealing with the electromagnetic fields around my laptop. Um, and whenever I'm having issues with my internet, I will put it on top of my laptop and say, dear soul, mind, body of this crystal, please help me have super fast internet. Do a good job, thank you. And it usually works. Um, when you get crystals, you need to cleanse the energy fields with them because they probably have picked up energies from either being in the store or other people who have handled them in the process. The way that I do it, and I actually showed last um, full moon on my Instagram live, is that I go to the beach and I collect some seawater and I put my crystals into that container and I put it on my windowsill at night and I allow the full moon to cleanse my crystals in um, the seawater. If you don't have the ocean near you, then you can use white sage to cleanse them or have water and add some salt. Um, you could say a little prayer for them. Um, there's lots of different ways, but just go into a store, see what you are drawn to. Um, and I'm sure like some amazing things are gonna come up for you. Okay, let's go on to the next question. So this one is anonymous. I'll just leave that one. It says, this is about a law of attraction. This is exciting. 
How can I manifest my bigger dream and life purpose when everyone around me is so negative and down? Whew. Okay, so I know that you go on to say in this one here that it's your family. So I'm, do you live with your family? Because if you do, I would limit the amount of interactions I have with them on a day-to-day -day basis. If you don't limit them, then you can see them like... Um, for a short amount of time. I know that sounds really terrible, but I, number one, protect my own vibration and that comes first before anything else. Um, what are you manifesting? Your dreams and life purpose. Um, then I, you go on to say that you're feeling really overwhelmed. I feel that those manifestations are a little bit too big for you at this stage. I would chunk them into smaller parts. When I first started manifesting, I started manifesting car spaces. Then as I got better, I started manifesting my fiance. Like that's massive, like polar opposites. But when you start with smaller things, it gets your confidence up. It's like, yeah, I got that car park. And you go straight into it. And then you just, it's just like a confidence thing. You just need to, you need to just trust the process. And sometimes when you become so tightly gripped on what you want to manifest, it actually doesn't happen because there is resistance in your vibration. Resistance is like driving and then you get a stop sign. And it's like, stop, do not enter. It's like, that's what it can feel like. Sometimes you need to allow what is coming up may be different from what you want. And sometimes it's kind of like a divine intervention where your angels are like, dude, you are going the wrong way. And they'll turn you around and put you onto the right path. There's so much involved in this and I'm actually creating something for you right now that's totally gonna help you out with this. Start small. That is my biggest advice. Start small and then go from there. Also, um, if you're having resistance, um, I would double your self-love practices. If you've downloaded my self-love starter kit, listen to that morning and night. Make it a priority because when you're in that vibration, it makes you feel amazing. I know you already know what to do, but I feel like I feel like it's a lot easier than what you're, I feel like you've just gotten so overwhelmed, you're like, I don't know what to do. It's like, okay, what we're going to do is we're gonna to listen to the morning mindset audio I created from the self-love starter kit in the morning. Then, when you're getting overwhelmed, listen to five minutes to bliss. That's why I only made that meditation for five minutes. I want you to go through the self-love practices workbook, work out what does self-love look like for you and make yourself kind of like a checklist and say, okay, before I start my day, I need to drink water, meditate, have a dance party, have a shower. Self-love doesn't need to be this big dramatic thing. I'm taking three hours to climb a mountain. Like you don't need to do that. If you need like a cup of tea, <laughs> speaking of tea, let's have a sip. <laughs> like if you just need to have like a cup of tea and pull a couple of like oracle cards and journal, then do that. You need to work out what self-love looks like for you. Okay, I think I've answered that question. Let's go up to this one another law of attraction one. Demetria? Demetria? I hope I said that right. Okay. Can we manifest something specific into our lives by implementing the law of attraction techniques sooner than when is divinely time for us? No, you cannot. Absolutely not. The universe works on divine time because time in this reality doesn't exist. It's something that is made up. So the way to manifest something sooner, which will flow with divine time, this is like the secret, is, um, oh, damn it, I just lost my train of thought. Oh, <laughs> is to make sure there's no resistance in your vibration, which, how do you get no resistance? Vibrate on the frequency of love. Do your self-love practices. Do your forgiveness on a full moon. Download my Forgiveness Heals audio. It's 30 minutes where I literally help you release that pain that you've been holding on to. Because if you're trying to manifest something, actually, what else have you said? Uh, blah, 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 blah. For instance, if someone is destined to meet his or her partner by the age 25, but at current, but currently 20, and using the law of attraction to manifest a soulmate, well, he or she crossed paths with a soulmate. It doesn't work like that. You can't say, by 25, I need to be married, um, 
married, have two kids and this. Like, it doesn't work like that. You need to allow things to happen. If you're so regimented in having this and, and as it gets closer, you're flipping out and you're like, why isn't this coming? You have just created so much resistance in your vibration and it won't manifest. It's plain as, as that. You need to allow it to take place. How do you allow it? You do your self-love practices. You release all the crap that has happened to you because I know there could have been something happened in your childhood. You could have dated someone else or you could have had an older sibling and they got married at 25 and you're like, I'm 20, where is this guy? Uh, uh, you know, just calm down. Patience, have patience. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in. You just need to have patience and you need to let it be. If you need help and more guidance on this, then you need to book yourself a private reading um, because I feel like you've actually created a lot more blockages for yourself than you actually have realized. Um, but yes, you can manifest. <laughs> I just read the last part of the form and I said, what is your intuition telling you? And you said, trust. Uh, chill and trust in divine timing. You've already answered your own question. That's the thing. You already know. Every single one of you who have, have submitted a question to me, you already know the answer because all of the answers to every possible thing that you could ever think of is already found deep within your soul. You just need to trust, surrender to the process and set yourself free. Why do you think I harp on about doing self-love practices every day? Because it allows you to raise your vibration. It makes you feel amazing. It gives you these coping strategies that you need to, to just grab with arms when things get crazy. Let me just pull one card for you because I just feel drawn. It does Demetria. Oh, oh, wow, that literally flew. You got the life purpose card. So it's either like you're the teacher or the student. I feel like you're the student here because there's still resistance in your vibration. If you need a teacher to help you with this, then listen to your intuition. Who do you feel is, um, oh, I don't know how to put it. Let me just read this one for you. The purpose of your life is to serve in a way that brings great joy to yourself and to others. Don't worry about finding your purpose. Instead, focus upon serving a purpose and then your purpose will serve you. It's like you don't need to be so fixated in all the details. Focus on the things that you love and it will come to you because that's where there's no resistance in your vibration. That was awesome. I like that one. Who else? Let's just choose one more. Okay. This is from Sarah and she says, What could be the reason why I sometimes struggle to concentrate? Ooh, that's interesting. Every time I'm meditating, something or someone distracts me. Is it possible that this is because I did something wrong with the three previous chakra healing meditations? I read, read that when you awaken certain chakras, your mind becomes more active. Your mind becomes more active when you release, when you activate the third eye chakra, which means that's when you can start channeling angel guidance and that's when your intuition comes into play. I feel like when I initially read your form, Sarah, um, what is your intuition telling you to do? Let the cats help me heal. Cats are very intuitive. Animals in general, that's very odd. So I'm obviously assuming from reading your form that you have a cat. I'm not a cat person, by the way. I just don't like hair. Um, and Anyway, this is not about me. So I feel like animals already are vibrating in the frequency of love. They have no blockages. They're like, you know, oh, divine timing, you know, you know, they just, they're just living in the present moment and we can learn a lot from our animals. So that's amazing that you have a cat. Your cat's going to be your best teacher right now. When you start meditating, it is like anything you aren't going to be fabulous at it when you first start and it takes time. So I want you to be very patient and very gentle with yourself and just know that isn't it amazing that you are meditating? Isn't it amazing that you want to meditate? Isn't it amazing that you could identify that your cat is here to help you heal? Sarah, I think you are further along than you actually give yourself credit for, honestly. And it's okay 
Oh, what else did she say? Could be the reason why you struggle. You struggle because I feel like you're overthinking it. And maybe you're sitting in the wrong position. I can't meditate. Okay, I, I can meditate sitting up, but I'm not the most comfortable. I'm the most comfortable when I'm literally laying flat on the ground with my palms facing up, my eyes closed, depending on where I am. I actually like my body being covered with like a blanket or a sheet um, and a little pillow under my neck. Um, that's if I'm doing like a really long meditation. So when you start, just know that it's going to be uncomfortable and like you're going to be distracted. I remember when I first started going to a meditation class, I remember everyone was like zonked out and I like peeped my eyes. I'm like, oh crap, I'm still awake. Everyone else is like knocked out. So just know that it takes time. I started meditating after I got out of that really emotionally abusive relationship. When was that? 2007? And I started going to a meditation group then, which is so cool. Like we, I walked in and the whole underneath the house was like dark with like beautiful candles and salt lamps. And we walked in and we got to choose an oracle card. It's crazy because the lady that um, that reads those cards is now uh, and, and d does that meditation is now dating my brother. How crazy is that? And um, yeah, it was just beautiful. I think. If you could get to a meditation group, I think that would be amazing because you pick up on the energy and the vibration of those around you. I feel like it's easier to med meditate together with people. Um, yeah, start small and just know that everything is working out for you. Anyways, my love, I just wanna say thank you. Thank you so much. This is actually gonna be a regular fortnightly segment on Tuesday. So um, every Sunday, is now a weekly guidance. So I'm giving you the reading on Sunday for the rest of the week ahead of you so you can work out what's coming up. Then on Tuesdays, it's going to be alternating between a full moon or new moon detailed reading. And then I'm gonna alternate that between a Q&A tea time. I want to do this live, um, but I'm just not sure if my internet can handle it. I don't know why. With Instagram, I can go live and everything is perfect, but when I, tested the live on YouTube, the connection was terrible, which I don't understand. But anyway, I'm praying and asking for guidance and I'm surrendering to the process. If I can't do it live on here, then maybe I do more lives on Instagram. Make sure you're following me on Instagram because I go live on there quite a lot. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of the schedule. So Tuesdays is either a detailed 30 minute new moon or full moon, I will alternate them. And then if it's not one of those readings, it will be Q and A tea time. So next fortnight, I'll be taking more questions. I've still got more to go through. Like I'm so far behind with Q&A tea time. If you have any lovely questions that you would love me to answer, click the link below. It will take you through to my website um, and you can fill out the form on my contacts page. Um, it's, a, it's just for Q&A tea time because I love helping you guys and I know that it helps you. Um, and I love interacting with you. It's just one of my favorite things. Anyways, I just wanted to say, I hope that you're having an amazing day wherever you are in the world. And I just want you just to trust that everything is working out for you. Say it with me. Everything is working out for me. Everything is working out for me. Keep going. Everything is working out for me. Everything, everything, everything is working out for me. I trust, I believe, and I surrender to the process. If you need extra help and guidance, please book a private reading because I would love to give you 30 minutes of detailed clarity. Um, if that's something that you're not called to, then have a look at my Forgiveness Heals um, Guided Visualization. Um, it's super powerful if you can do that on a full moon and we have the lunar eclipse that is coming up tonight. And um, yeah, if you could release those blockages on a full moon, holy flip. It's like a full moon, a super moon, a blue moon. It's just so much goodness packed into one and lunar eclipses is, oh, I can't explain it enough, but you probably watched the previous reading and you'll get 30 minutes of detail clarity in that one. Anyways, guys, I love you and I will talk to you soon. Goodbye.